Welcome to another edition of Knights TV. I'm Leanne Whitehouse with Kyle Grimard, and there have been a plethora of games since our last episode. So we're going to take a look at some of the biggest highlights from the past games, starting in Niagara. Yeah, a road game versus the Niagara Ice Dogs that unfortunately, after London had a 2-1 lead, had to be postponed due to a very scary incident in the second period involving Niagara Ice Dogs goaltender Tucker Tynan. There was a collision that took place. Now, fortunately, both medical staffs acted very promptly in this one. Uh, Tucker was taken to the hospital, underwent surgery, and it is safe to say that he is recovering with his family back home in Chicago. He is going to make a full recovery. That is awesome news to hear. The Knights took on the Sarnia Sting in their final home game before the Christmas break. Although they dropped that contest to 5-3, to three, Ryan Merkley had a huge game, putting up three assists. Yeah, and you know what? The Knights moved on right afterwards against the Windsor Spitfires. And again, they did drop a 6-3 decision. Brett Brochu submitted a save of the year candidate. Check this one out. The angle's got nothing but time off the post again. Appanasia Brochu with a diving stop. Big save by Brochu. The London Knights continued on the road, taking on the North Bay Battalion. Another tough game, but some great, memorable moments. Yeah, you know what? Stuart Roloffs collected his first two career points in the Ontario Hockey League, picking up two assists. And Avery Winslow on the back end, scoring his first career OHL goal. I uh, can't imagine how memorable that must have been for him. But you know what? Knights got right back into their winning ways on the road against the Sudbury Wolves. Strong game from their goaltender. Yes, Brett Brochu had an amazing 29 save shutout. Now, after a tough loss to the Kitchener Rangers, the London Knights got back into their winning ways on the road with a 4-3 overtime victory over the Sarnia Sting. Big game for Seal Panwar. He scored his first goal of the season. Absolutely amazing to see him on the ice. And to round out 2019 with a bang, the Knights took down Sarnia Sting on New Year's Eve with a final score of 4-2. Brett Brochu with another huge game, 29 saves, and Sean McGurn scoring his first career OHL goal. And you had the chance to chat with him after the game. He was pretty excited. Uh, Goose got on the draw, then Ben shot it, puck just bounced out, and I'm happy it came to me and I ended up scoring, so I was really excited. The London Knights ended 2019 on a high and continued that high into 2020 with another strong performance at home against the Mississauga Steelheads coming in on top 3-1. to one. Another great game from Brett Brochu. He is on fire right now. In that game, he had a career-high 40 saves, which is absolutely incredible. Another highlight from that game, Luke Evangelista, he was named to the CHL Top Prospects game. And afterwards, you had a chance to chat with him. He was very excited. Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, obviously, I was a little disappointed when at first when uh, when I wasn't named to it. But yeah, just to be able to get the chance to play in that game uh, and alongside uh, Sean just too, uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to be in the position I'm in. Well, the Knights capped off their weekend on the road with a big 4-3 to victory over the Flint Firebirds, winning their fourth straight. Jonathan Gruden and Luke Evangelista were key in this one, each collecting two points. And of course, we have to give a big congratulations and a huge shout out to Mark and Dale Hunter, Connor McMichael, Liam Foodie, Bob Martin, head of security, and Chris Matten, the equipment manager, for bringing home gold at this year's World Juniors. Yeah, congratulations to them, along with the entire Team Canada, for capturing the 18th medal in team history at the U20 tournament. But back to the London Knights, you know, three players really in particular stepped up in those players' absence. And starting with Jonathan Gruden, who in nine of the 10 games that he played in, collected six goals and six assists. Defenseman Ryan Merkley was firing on all cylinders, putting up 10 points in 10 games. And Luke Evangelista, in addition to be adding to the CHL Top Prospects game, he put up 11 points in 10 games. Well, the London Knights are going to get, obviously, a major boost with the players and coaching staff returning from the World Junior Hockey Championships. And it will begin this Friday at home when they take on the Barry Colts. After that, they're going to go on the road for two more games versus the Saginaw Spirit and the Sioux St. Marie Greyhounds. They'll then be returning home the following weekend to take on Sudbury, where we will be retiring Patrick Kane's jersey, followed by a game against Erie. For Knights TV, I'm Kyle Grimard. And I'm Leanne Whitehouse.